Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is May the 22nd, 2020. I'm going to give you all this update in NEO. Uh, last time I did our video, NEO was on May the 8th. So yeah, it's about time for a fresh update as to making a determination uh, whether or not the market trapper is going to be successful and continue to move this stock higher. If this is your first time watching our video, hit that like button, share the video, subscribe to our channel because it is our purpose to give you the simplistic form of a price forecast without giving you all those lagging indicators and all that fancy technical jargon that many people try to instill in you just to show their proficiency in a space of forecasts when actuality it doesn't take all of that all right so join us on our website as well hefinancial.com the link is in the description if you want to be a part of our community uh, we're definitely there showing you all of our other price forecasts and predictions into the stock market to give you all a heads up as to what we're looking and expecting these stocks to go before the market trapper actually gets there may the 8th was the last time we did our video in neo and we had the prospect of this current of this stock continuing to see the movement higher in price and generally you can tell that that has not been the case uh neo has just really been consolidating we claim we already came and you know tp that market at 380. we were definitely seeing a little bit more indications of market strength in neo but definitely that 380 is showing itself as a major restriction level in neo so if you were able to tp the market at that particular price 2.98 percent about three uh, percent could have been bagged into your pocket uh, in neo if not you'll be down about 9.76 percent right now okay so let's go ahead and get rid of this and i want to start off on this forecast in neo on the weekly time frame and my main concern on the weekly time frame is that for two consecutive weeks neo has been unsuccessful at cracking above three dollars and eighty cents even four dollars that was the opportunity for the market trapper to continue its bullishness and movement higher in price currently that is not the case we're seeing nothing but weakness on the weekly purview in a neo stock okay monthly time frame again the market is showing itself that restriction is being maintained at four dollars three dollars eighty cents um even though we're about one week away from the conclusion of the month of may we are closing off of the highs in neo stock very small spread the volume is light as well so literally in a long term neo cannot break below three dollars it can still do that as long as we hold this trend into the market in neo the long-term view is that this stock is continuing to movement higher in price we're just bouncing ahead right now at four dollars and three dollars and eighty cents OK, so literally what I've been getting to the market for NEO is overall the market in NEO is weak. Uh, you got to acknowledge it is what it is. Stocks move up and down. Currently, the environment for NEO is one of weakness and looking for this particular stock to continue to move to the downside. So that's going to be our forecast for NEO. Uh, we're going to play it on a weekly time frame. Three eighty is going to be that restriction level, so we're going to hold that market restriction there. And like I said, you, we can see the market in Neo come all the way down here to this ascending line, which would be like a twenty six percent movement to the downside. But we're not going to take it all the way that low right now, but it can definitely occur. We're just going to take it to three dollars in order for us to try to hold that from the monthly time frame three dollars to hold support in neo okay so we definitely need to see that market in neo hold three dollars for support okay so this is going to be our forecast in neo we're going to continue to play the weakness in this stock uh movement to the downside three dollars going to be our tp location but in the long term i wouldn't be surprised to get a very quick touch around 280 okay so this is it relatively simple to see and as well as understand and now we need to sit back and just let the market trapper do the work for us questions comments let us know make sure you maintain a profitability and i'll see you all on the next one